Hey guys, I thought today I would show my Honda Ridgeline. It's the RTL 2007. They are going to stop producing it in 2014 and they're going to come out with a new model in 2015. But I thought I'd just go ahead and show you this. Uh, I love this car. I went ahead and put a bull bar in the front. Don't remember the manufacturer it was. It wasn't Weston. They were a little too expensive. LED lights, 6 inch. Pretty good. Like, and I love this truck because you can do anything with it. It's just made for anything. I don't know why, but on all Honda cars, just everything. That little end comes off, not a big deal. Just pops out. This car, five seats. This one has 80,000 miles. It's a little dirty inside. But what I love about it, you can have three seats here. Or if you need luggage space, lift that up. And you got all this down here. And this is used as a bike rack. Both seats lift up. This one I need to replace one of the um, cables inside it. Not too big of a deal. I'll probably do that a little bit later. Leather. RTL comes with it. Little trays. Couples on each side. Pretty good. Um, pretty good back seats. I wouldn't suggest that. Just very long road trips. But you could probably go a few hundred miles without taking a break. Front seats. Leather. All electric. This gets 15 miles in the city, 18 miles on the highway, I believe. Lights are not automatic in 2007. They are manual, but that's not too big of an issue. And one thing I do like is that you have cargo lights for the back, which is really nice to have. Radio, good setup. Dual climate control, I love that. Plenty of storage space, ridiculous storage space. Keep a little air compressor in there, it's coming in handy more than once. Put all that down there. Uh, pockets, side pockets. And then you got a sunroof. Opens up and closes. Like that, that comes on the RTL 2007. Back window, open to close this. Cruise control, it's nice to have. Well, most cars have that, still it's really nice. Hands-free controls, I really like this setup because it's not too many buttons where you're just trying to figure out which one, which button's which, and all that stuff. Door handles, I actually really do like these. I don't know why, they're just easier to use than any other car I've really driven. Maybe besides this Toyota RAV4, they got pretty good door handles that I like. But the doors are much heavier. Great air conditioning. I mean, this thing will cool you off in seconds. Great heated seats. I love the heated seats in here. They work too. Um, tinted windows in the back, but not tinted in the front. You can get them tinted in the front or back. I don't know. We've got the Western Bull Bars on it. Love those. Back tailgate. If you've looked at any Ridgeline videos, you probably know that this back tailgate can go down like this normal tailgate you can put a little four-wheeler in here I mean there's plenty of room put a little mattress in here I've done it before but you also know that it opens like this sideways a little release lever that's really nice to have it's I use that more often than I put it down just because it's a little easier multiple tie down points already in like that, rhino skinned. And another thing you've seen, if you've seen any Honda Ridgeline videos, is this. This is great. I love it. You could probably fit a whole American in here. Great, great little storage space. Fill it with ice. You could put drinks in here. Sandwiches. I would say you could probably put a small deer in here if you had to. Maybe a hog if you didn't want to get everything dirty. Removable plug. It's nice. There we go. So you can wash it out. Put that back in. There we go. I went ahead and put the straps in here. What I love about the Ridgeline more than anything is that everything can be used on it. These wheel arches are very small through here, unlike Fords or Silverados, Dodges. 
and that gives you a lot more flat space. The cargo bed may not be as big, but having those small really helps. But it has three tire notches in the back, so you can put motorbikes in here, and these help them keep in place. Got little grooves right here. I think that's a really smart idea if you like motorbiking. One thing I did forget to mention about back here comes with a tire. Pretty simple to get out, winch, all that stuff. Toes 5,000 pounds, which is pretty good for mid sized pickup. I mean, that'll work for anything you need. And it has a V6, uh, yeah, V6 VTEC 250 horsepower engine. And that's a very good engine. I know people that have 275,000 miles on their ridge lines, and they say they'll take it to Alaska today, and they won't expect a problem. Four-wheel drive system is great. This comes with tire pressure monitoring system, all that good stuff. Very good um, snow, I've heard it's very good for ice, all that stuff. Sand, mm, depends on what you're looking at. I did get the windshield wipers replaced. Um, they were not very good, but they are also pretty old. I showed you most of what I wanted to show you on the ridge line. The video camera come, cut off. Sorry about that. But as you can see, it's a practical truck. It's great. I love it. I would suggest getting one to anybody if you can find one. The one thing that is cool about it is like everyone has a Ford F-150. You're in a parking lot, I guarantee you. You, you're going to be one of maybe two people in the parking lot to have a ridge line. But that's what I love about it. I love it because it's unique. And it's just a great vehicle. I really appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that.